say that we're an industry, we're an industry with a heart. And I guess if, if we're an industry with a heart, then John Googe is the soul of, of the industry. He said if a person has the means to help somebody and they don't do it, they're failing. John has, has had the, the means and he has supported with his time as a volunteer for over five decades. He has such a passion for people who are blind. John Googe has helped provide a brighter future for me and so many others here at IFB. It almost feels as if blindness knocked us down, but John Googe came along with the team and helped pick us up so that we can succeed in every area of life. John is in touch with IFB. He talks to all the people. He spends time with them. John is an example for all of us. I've dealt with people over the years that are dedicated to their job. And John's dedicated to IFB, and it's really not his job. He just has a passion. He has a passion for our program. You can't say IFB we're not thinking about John Gooch. I mean, he is just the nicest man in the world. He really is. On our road to success, uh, John traveled a lot on that road. As a matter of fact, when we sit back and look at it, it's that John pretty much drew up the road map. Well, my mother uh, was my mentor. Her whole life was focused on helping people, giving people a chance. Her uh, spirit, her backbone, and her drive and motivation is some reason or other kind of stuck with me over the years. My uh, first recollection of the blind was uh, probably in 60. Nelson Kelsey said we have an opportunity to acquire the uh, blind shop here in Winston-Salem. So we went up and looked, we saw four people caning chairs and uh, making brooms. And I said to them, these people are more capable of doing things than that. We need to, we need to adopt them, bring them in, and, and give them an opportunity. And they got me motivated. So Nelson, let's get it done. Let's move on. So we brought them in, and boy, it just took off like gangbusters. So that was a milestone in my life and in the life of uh, IFB, or in the life of the blind. I think you'll find that every single person on that floor out there has skills yet, yet to be discovered. I don't know what they are, have no idea, and they don't either, but given the chance to, to work at it and tr be trained for it, I would say that probably 80% of them could be very successful at it. Who'd ever thought 40, 50 years ago, blind people would be making jackets for the Army and the Navy, but they do, and they do a great job. When I do think about my legacy, I would hope that people would think, well, he was honest, a hard worker, wanted to help people, wasn't selfish, shared his talents, both financially and otherwise, with the people who needed it. Well, I guess it's two things you can do in life, you know, as you move through. You can give your, your time uh, to help other people, or you can give your res other resources to help people. And what people have to understand is the fact that these people are human beings just like they are. And you have to think how you might feel if you were in their situation and they were in your situation. You'd look up at them and I'm sure think, gosh, I hope you're going to help me some way. And your helping hand could be the very thing that turns a destitute life into something that's really great. There's no way we can miss if we stay on the course we're on right now.